Red Dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. It's a perfect park day. Clifford! Clifford! You home? Whoa! <laughs> wow, look at all this junk. Yeah, isn't it great? What is all this stuff? must be cleaning out his doghouse. Oh, I do that all the time. I throw away all my old, boring junk, and then Jetta buys me lots of terrific, uh, new junk. I don't think this is old, boring junk, Mac. There's some great smelling stuff here. Hey, guys. Hey, Clifford. Getting rid of your junk, huh? Uh-huh. This year, I'm really going to throw away the stuff I don't need anymore. Hmm. Look what I found! Oh, you definitely don't need these old things anymore, Clifford. Hey, I remember those boots. Mr. Bleakman gave them to me. It was during a bad rainstorm last year. It rained really hard all night, and in the morning, everything was wet and muddy. Whoa! This looks like a good day to stay inside. Oh, doggone it! Violet! Mr. Bleakman, I better go see what's wrong. Why can't that paper boy ever get our paper on the front porch? It's soaking wet! Well, at least the sports section is dry. Oh, Clifford! Stop it! Stop it! Just, just stop and go home, Clifford. Oh, I should have stayed in bed. Huh? What the heck? I I'm stuck in the mud. Help! I'm stuck. I can't move. Whoa, whoa! Ow! <laughs> Thank you, Clifford. But, uh, notice anything missing? <laughs> like my boots? Just, just stop now. Wow, a gift from Mr. Bleakman. You have to keep these, Clifford. They're really special. <laughs> they're not special. They're just a pair of old muddy boots. Maybe they're not special to you, Mac, but they are special to me. Hey, Clifford, what's this? 
Emily's mom gave that to me when I was a little puppy. for me while I go get the rinse bucket, okay? Sure does. <sighs> I cannot believe you guys are getting all mushy over this junk. This isn't junk, Mac. That's right. It's... it's Clifford's treasure. It still looks like trash to me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you call this trash? No. Ha! I call it <laughs> garbage. It is definitely not garbage, Mac. It smells like fish. Cool! <laughs> That's because we found that towel at the beach, remember? We were all digging in the sand when T-Bone found something. Hey, look what I found! What is it, T? <clears throat> Looks like an old beach towel. Yeah! Wanna play tug of war with it? Sure! Whoa! <laughs> Maybe tug of war isn't such a good idea, T. Maybe not! I know what we can do. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Clifford? <laughs> Hi, Mac. I was just spinning Cleo and T Bone with this old towel we found. Hey, Mac, want to play? It's really fun. Uh, no thanks. Come on, try it. It's fun. It is fun. We all get dizzy. Well, okay. Here we go. Go, Mac, go, Mac, go. You guys want to do that again? Grab an end of the towel. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I thought Clifford was supposed to be cleaning out his doghouse. Oh, yeah. I still think you should throw this old thing out, Clifford. It smells like stinky fish. Whew. I guess you're right. I'll just put it in the throwaway pile. But, you know, if you're gonna throw it away anyway, maybe I'll just take it home. If you want it, Mac, you can have it. Thanks. Well, I gave you this thingamabob for your birthday one year, Clifford. That's right. And it's the best thingamabob I've ever had. You are gonna throw it away? Oh, I can't throw any of it away. It's all special to me. Then you don't have to. That's right, Clifford. This stuff is your treasure. Right. It's my treasure. And treasure is supposed to be buried. Yeah! There. Now 
where my treasure is buried. That was a great idea, Clifford. Yeah, your doghouse is clean. And your treasure is safe. Thanks for helping me, guys. You're welcome, Clifford. We'll see you tomorrow, big guy. Thanks for the towel, Clifford. <sighs> Are you sure you don't want to bury it? No, thanks. You can have it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Clifford. Did you get your doghouse all cleaned out? Woof, woof. Great job, boy. But where's all the stuff you want to throw away? Oh, I see. You kind of stored everything away for safekeeping, huh? Woof, woof. Well, at least we can throw away this old fetch stick. I remember when we played with it at the park last week. I'll go put it in the garbage can for you. Okay, boy. Now I'm gonna go clean my room. Mom says it's been a long time since she's seen my bedroom floor. and the disappearing cookie. One day, Speckle's friends gathered at the old tree stump to watch him perform a magic show. First, Speckle the Magnificent took a cookie out of his hat and announced he was going to make it disappear. His friends watched closely as Speckle put the cookie on the tree trunk. He moved his magic handkerchief over it, wiggled his fingers mysteriously, then pulled the handkerchief away, and presto, the cookie was gone. Everyone was amazed and wondered where the cookie had gone. Behind his back? Up his sleeve? No, Speckle smiled and told them where the cookie had gone. Into his mouth, he ate it. Everyone laughed at his joke. Then they all had a chance to try the trick, making a whole hatful of cookies disappear. And they were delicious. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> one of Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm really having fun with my new camera. New camera? You have a new camera, Vaz? I sure do. Want to see it? <laughs> That's nice. But you're not the only one who has something new, you know. What do you mean, Jetta? Well, I have a brand new baby. Jenna has a new baby brother. Let me How see. So I was about to say that, Emily Elizabeth. He is so cute, Jenna. He looks just like I did when I was a baby. His name is Cosmo. And he's my sweet baby brother. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna is a wonderful big sister. A baby brother. You're so lucky. I know. When Cosmo gets a little bigger, we're going to have a party to celebrate his arrival. I'd like you all to come. 
That sounds great. Let me take a picture of them. One, two, three! Good afternoon, and welcome to our home. Well, thank you, Jetta. What a wonderful greeter you are. Thank you. Would you like to see a magic trick? Well, actually, I'd really love to see the baby. Oh, my, there he is. We'll see your trick later, Jetta. Oh, isn't he just adorable? <gasps> are these for me? Cosmo? Cosmo? Uh, where should I put this, Jetta? Huh? It's for Cosmo. Uh, I, I can take it, I guess. Thanks. Jetta says we can leave the presents with her. Oh, I can't that wait baby. to see that baby. Oh, I can't He's wait just to see adorable. Him. Would anyone like to see a magic trick? I need some help serving these burgers, please. Well, uh, but I'm dancing for them, Mother. Well, I think you can dance and serve at the same time, can't you? Of course I can. I am very talented, you know. I know. Oh, he is going to be a handsome young fellow someday. Oh, my. He's looking right at us. Does anyone want a hamburger? La la! Hamburger? La la! Hamburger? Ta da! Would you like a burger? I'll have one, thank you. Oh, thanks, Jetta. Coochie, 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 coo. Ta da! Welcome. So, Mac, what's it like having a new baby in the house? Oh, it's kind of nice, really. And you want to know the best part about it? Watch. Oh, I've had enough to eat. It's time to pick up that little boy. Come here, you little sweetie pie. See that, Clifford? Free food. They lose interest in eating when a baby's around. I want to get some pictures of Cosmo while he's still awake. Fine. Take your dumb picture. Come on, little Cosmo, smile. I wish I could get him to smile. Well, while you're waiting, why don't you go ahead and take a picture of me? <laughs> hey, look, he's smiling at you, Jetta. Oh, boy, this burger looks good. Oh, Mr. Bleakman, you've just got to hold this sweet little boy. Well... Oh, okay. Come here, you cutie pootie pie. You see what I mean, Clifford? There's nothing to it. Gucci, Gucci, Goo. Gucci, 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 Goo. Oh, I think he likes you, Mr. Bleakman. Uh, yes, well, uh, <clears throat> I like him too, but uh, I'm a little hungry, so. Uh... Hey, what happened to my hamburger? Well, I'll bring you one, Mr. Bleakman. Mr. Bleakman, 
Thanks. So, what do you think? Mm, oh, mm, great hamburger, yeah. Really great. I'll show him what really great is. <laughs> now they'll see who the real star of this party is. Look, I think he's falling asleep. Oh, I'm so glad he's finally closing his eyes. He doesn't sleep much, I'm afraid. We'll all be real quiet then. I'll try to eat nice and quietly. <laughs> what is that? That is not being quiet. Jack, you've woken up Cosmo. Now you march yourself into the house this minute and get rid of that noisy contraption. Cry, Cosmo. Oh, please don't cry, sweetie. You guys stay here. I'm gonna go help Jetta. I don't get it. All he does is lie there. He can't do magic tricks. He can't dance. He can't even play one instrument. Much more interesting than he is. Yeah, but this was kind of a special day for Cosmo. Yeah, I guess. But I don't understand why no one was watching me. I don't know, Jetta. Maybe it was just his turn to get attention today. And some other day, it'll be your turn. You think so? Yeah. Cosmo is new, and people want to get to know him. And besides, he's pretty cute. Well, of course he's cute. He's my brother. Is this a little ticklish spot? Icky, ticky, tickle. Icky, ticky. When my Charlie was a little boy, I used to sing to him. Sleepy little guy, go to sleep, no time to cry. La, 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 la. Okay, 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 I get the message. Oh, hush now. Hush, little Cosmo. Here, let me try. Be my guest. Now, what's the matter with my little baby brother? Big sister Jedi is here now. What a handsome boy you are. You take after me. You're just the best little brother in the whole wide world. <laughs> well, look at that. She did it. Oh, what a wonderful big sister you are, Jetta. Cosmo certainly is lucky to have you here to take care of him. And I'm pretty lucky to have Cosmo, too. Hold it right there. That's a great shot. Hey, T-Bone. Come on out, T. Clifford and I know that it's important to have friends you can count on. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be a good friend. Hi, guys. What's up? We're going up to the lighthouse. It's going to be fun. Come on. Uh, I don't think I can climb to the lighthouse today. Huh? What do you mean? I hurt my paw yesterday, and it's still kind of sore. But you guys go ahead without me. Gee, I hope you feel better tomorrow, T-Bone. Come on, Clifford! Wait, Cleo. 
It wouldn't be very nice to leave T-Bone here all alone. You're right, Clifford. Why don't we stay here and play with him today? Then we can all go together tomorrow when his paw feels better. Great idea, Cleo. That'd be great, guys. Thanks. Having good friends makes everyone feel great. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be a good friend. all this stuff. Duck! Clifford must be cleaning out his doghouse. Oh, I do that all the time. I throw away all my old boring junk, and then Jetta buys me lots of terrific uh, new junk. I don't think this is old boring junk, Mac. There's some great smelling stuff here. Hey, guys. Hey, Clifford. Getting rid of your junk, huh? Uh-huh. This year, I'm really going to throw away the stuff I don't need anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Look what I found! <laughs> oh, you definitely don't need these old things anymore, Clifford. Hey, I remember those boots. Mr. Bleakman gave them to me. It was during a bad rainstorm last year. It rained really hard all night. And in the morning, everything was wet and muddy. Whoa! This looks like a good day to stay inside. Oh, doggone it! Violet! Mr. Bleakman, I better go see what's wrong. Why can't that paper boy ever get our paper on the front porch? It's soaking wet! Well, at least the sports section is dry. Oh, Clifford! Stop it! Stop it! Just, just stop and go home, Clifford. Oh, I should have stayed in bed. Huh? What the heck? I'm stuck in the mud. Help! I'm stuck. I can't move. 
Thank you, Clifford. But, uh, notice anything missing? Like my boots? special. They're just a pair of old muddy boots. Maybe they're not special to you, Mac, but they are special to me. Hey, Clifford, what's this? <laughs> Emily's mom gave that to me when I was a little puppy. for me while I go get the rinse bucket, okay? Does. <sighs> I cannot believe you guys are getting all mushy over this junk. This isn't junk, Mac. That's right. It's... it's Clifford's treasure. It still looks like trash to me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you call this trash? No. Ha! I call it <laughs> garbage. It is definitely not garbage, Mac. It smells like fish. Cool! <laughs> That's because we found that towel at the beach, remember? We were all digging in the sand when T-Bone found something. Hey, look what I found! What is it, T? <clears throat> Looks like an old beach towel. Yeah! Wanna play tug of war with it? Sure! Whoa! <laughs> Maybe tug of war isn't such a good idea, T. Maybe not! Hey, I know what we can do. 